tonight. Um, everything that's been said about Jan is, is true. Her experience, her knowledge, her persistence. I met her, I think, two or three years ago at a conference in Palo Alto. Didn't know her. And at the end of the meeting, she came up to me and, and introduced herself and said that um, I ran for city council and I'm thinking about doing it again. And I said, well, we'll do it again. And then let me know if and when you do it. And I hadn't heard from her for a couple of years. And then she called me up one day and, and, and a great honor to me that, that she would call me and said, I'm going to run for city council and I'd like some advice. And uh, I said, I'd be more than happy to help. And what I learned from, about her is you can have all the knowledge and all the training that you need, but if you don't have the desire to help your community, to be part of your community, all that knowledge means nothing. And every one of us that have run for city council had one thing in mind, is do what we can do good for our community and people we represent. And Yan will do that. I learned by getting closer to her and becoming a closer friend uh, that her heart was always about the community. Every time we talked, how do I communicate with the community to get my message across so they know that I'm sincere about what I'm doing? Well, she's done that. And I can go on and on, but I won't. So uh, congratulations. I look forward to having a long and productive and close friendship with you. And anything that you need as a council person, please don't hesitate and call on me or others that have been there. We, we know what it's about. And, um, and the hardest part, quite honestly, is to be able to listen and not talk while you're listening. <laughs> Because you learn more, and then you can do more. And us politicians and former politicians uh, know that's the right way to be when we deal with citizens. And so congratulations again, and thank all of you for coming out tonight to show your support.